It's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners, and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice, and you're just the dish, a girl, to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pig parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Now go away.
Finish your suit, girls. Bovine Jupiter will stay there all for it.
Mind functions, this disaster is either his doing or his hospital. Could have happened that way, Alice. You remember poor Mr. didn't he? Dr. Wilson rejects spontaneous question, but I asked Mr. Dickens.
domain, almost as I remember it. Appearances, as you know better than most, can be deceiving, Alice. Much has changed since your last visit. Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Find the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably rash. It's not a question of if, Alice. It's when. Now hold on. And as they say, shut up. So typical. Made more graceful entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. 